Hello and welcome to computer class. My name is Dave and today we are talking about how to do video and motion in a PowerPoint. So get yourself Google Slides and then open a blank presentation. All right, once you have it open, I'm gonna write the words Pacific Rim. Of course, it's one of my favorite characters. Change this to white. Maybe scale it up a little bit. Let's do, eh, not bold. Let's let's do Arial Black. Just looks cooler. Let's get rid of the edge of this one. All right, so let's insert a image from the computer. I'm gonna grab Pacific Rim character and let's scale it up. Right, like that and then to arrange it to the back you hit the arrange order send to back all right so we got this cool pacific rim row character um looking pretty fine there we go all right now to put motion to this slideshow we hit the view tab motion and you can see that the slide transition has none and so if we had two of these slides, we can actually click this one, control C, control V, and let's just change this to second slide. Right, so you can see when it transitions. Um, if we want to transition, we just hit uh, and change this to, let's do cube, it sounds good, right? And you can change the speed at which it does it. So let's do medium, apply it to all the slides, why not? And then let's do this animation right here. Add an animation to this text. Um, yeah, sure, we'll have it fade in. Fade in, I'll have it fade in really fast. Yeah. All right, let's hit play. So it comes in, push, and then. Nothing. All right, let's play the slideshow. Oh, enter to continue. <laughs> I got it, Never mind. Okay, so it kind of goes on click, if you will. However, we could change this on click to, uh, because this is the text, we could do it to uh, with previous or after previous. I'm gonna do it with the previous, so that now that when we play this, it comes in like that and kind of fades in. Looks pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna do the same to this slide right here. Oh, I have to get out of it, there we go. So this one has the cube animation, but if I click this, no animation on, I want that to fade in with previous. Pretty fast. Let's play it again, let's see if it works. There it is. And the second slide. All right, so we're gonna hit stop. Now, um, when we hit present, let's present this actually, and we hit play, it actually like will show us the full resolution of how it works, okay? So that's pretty cool. All right, so that's a slideshow with motion, okay? The next thing we wanna do, let's just control C, control V, this right here. Let's just drag this up here, say trailer. And pull this over. Uh, you can just type in here, it's easier. 25, whoa. All right, and let's get a video in here. So let's insert a video. Pacific. Rim trailer. All right, there's Pacific Rim Uprising. Pretty sweet movie. And so you can just insert the the trailer right into your slideshow. Here, I'll stick it there so it lines up with that. Now you could start the movie. What's really cool is you could start the video in your slide presentation at any point in time. So you could start it at, you know, 
four minutes or one minute if you want to and end at 7.30. You can auto play when presenting. So when it's playing the slide, it'll actually just automatically play when you flip to that slide. You can mute the audio in case there's something you don't want. You can do the size and the as aspect ratio there. You can do the positioning and you can give it a little bit of drop shadow, transparency. This could be a transparent video, literally, if you wanted to. That's that's really cool. Um, drop shadow distance, the uh, blur radius, so you can blur out some of the stuff. Um, so that's pretty cool. This is all for the drop shadow, which is currently checked on because I think a drop shadow is really cool. All right, so that is how you insert motion into a PowerPoint. And that's also how you insert video. Not too complicated, but really adds some cool effects to your um, slides presentations. So go create something cool with the slide animations and the video selection there. Even to the point where something I didn't do, which you could have done, is you can take and make a video the background and then have some text come on over top of it. That's another cool idea that I didn't show in this video. Um, but when we get to PowerPoint, I probably will talk about that a little easier in that program. So hopefully this video was helpful and I will see you in the next video.